Aside from elected officials, experts and analysts, many Americans sounding off are those who once served our country in Afghanistan. Our Betsy Webster spoke with one of them today and she joins us now live in Kansas City. Betsy? Well, Sean Lee now practices law here in Kansas City, but before he went to college and on to law school, he spent eight years as an infantryman. He was with the 101st Airborne in 2010 when he was sent to Afghanistan. I was emotional watching the country fall. I'm still emotional. Sean Lee's perspective now isn't so much about a war as it is about a nation of people. They're all just human beings and a lot of them didn't make the mess that they're in. They just inherited it. He created a bond with some of them. He now worries for them, particularly those who aided the U.S. military. This is a mess. There's a lot of people right now who don't have access to clean water, who do not have access to timely health care, who are in fear for their lives against uh, political repercussions. He's hesitant to start portioning blame. I don't ever think that there was a neat way to get out of Afghanistan. And now that this government is in place, uh, the next step, I think, for them is to prove that they're not going to go out and just start murdering people. A lot of those people are just sick and hurting, and they're going to make some really poor choices. And unfortunately, they're all armed. And now they have a bunch of tanks and a bunch of bombs and a government at their disposal. I'm fearful. Yeah, definitely afraid. Um, I would also say that I'm somewhat hopeful. It's not been a total massacre yet. And he notes that 20 years, that's how long it's been, 20 years is essentially a generation, a generation that has not lived under Taliban rule. He said he's open to the idea of diplomacy under the Taliban, but he is still watching very tensely to see how it unfolds. Live in Kansas City, Missouri, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.